Flux 2 has just been released, and this is the second generation text image model from Black Forest Labs, which introduces significant changes to the base architecture, specifically regarding prompt adherence and world understanding. So here's a breakdown of what's new, how it differs from Flux 1, and how to adjust your prompting workflow. First, the model architecture. Flux 2 is not a simple fine tune of Flux 1. It's a completely new base model. The primary update is the transition to a language model approach for prompt interpretation. So this means that the model has a deeper semantic understanding of your text. On top of that, it supports resolutions up to 2K and has been optimized for fast inference, rendering images up to 10 times faster. And by the way, if you want to try Flux 2 right now, you can click the first link in the description down below and it will take you to 11 Labs. Here you can simply click on the image and video tool, go and click on image and then select the Flux 2 model and start generating. Now, the biggest functional change for users is prompt adherence. Flux 2 moves towards a language model approach, so it interprets long-form nuanced instructions more literally than previous models. So for example, you can now combine opposing styles such as cyberpunk and naturalism, and the model will logically synthesize them rather than ignoring one. It's also fixed some of the most common rendering issues from Flux 1, particularly regarding anatomical accuracy, multi-subject consistency, and text rendering. So now it's better at fingers and generating text within your images. And now because it's a new architecture, it does require a change in the way you write your prompts. The most important rule is do not use negative prompts because the model processes languages more literally. So if you type no blur or no bad hands in your prompt, the model sees the words blur and hands and it might actually add them instead. So no negative prompts. Instead, rely on positive constraints describe exactly what you want to see. And if you want to take it a step further and have that precise control over specific details within your images, Flux2 now accepts JSON prompts. So you could define parameters like subject, camera angle, and lighting in a code-friendly JSON format. And if I was you, just ask ChatGPT to help you put those prompts together. And now the next one, which might be one of my favorites, color precision has been upgraded. What does this mean? It means that you can now use specific hex codes in your prompts. And so you can easily match your brand colors or respect a strict color palette within your image generations. And so all you have to do is add the keyword color or hex followed by the code and the model will attempt to match exactly that color. And so this truly shows how much creative control you have with Flux 2. And additionally, on top of the colors, the model can also generate one-shot infographics. It can handle the layout, and also the typography of complex diagrams. However, the model doesn't create the content itself, it just does the design. You still need to provide the specific data points and the text that you want to put in the infographic, but it can do everything else. And a great way to do this, again, is using a JSON format and use ChatGPT to help you put it all together. And finally, image to image editing has been heavily improved. The model now supports natural language editing without complex masking. In Flux 1, image to image was applying noise to the entire image. So if you said change the background, it would slightly hallucinate the person's face because it didn't really know where the person in the background began or ended. You could fix this with masks where you paint over the part you wanted to keep, but now Flux 2 has multimodal context. And so it doesn't just see pixels, it recognizes the objects inside your image. It knows that this is a dog and that is a wall. So when you say change the wall, it protects the dog automatically. So you just need to describe the change that you want to see without worrying about the rest. If you want to try Flux 2, you can click the first link in the description down below and you can go and see for yourself the speed improvements, the better text handling, the hex color support, and the new prompting workflow. Let us know what you think of Flux 2 in the comment section down below. And if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more like this, please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.